In today's video, can we save Pella from another horde of Macedonians and push back the constant hordes of Thracians coming and invading our lands? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Surrectum. Yes, last time we had a few things happen, didn't we? But I can't quite remember them now because I have recorded this video once, but right at the end, literally right at the end, my video got corrupted. So, I do know what may happen, but of course, with the RNG nature of the game, it may not happen as well. I know we've got three settlements we need to upgrade. Demetrias, and then a couple in here somewhere. I can't remember exactly where. And we're also not recruiting in uh, Ambrakia just yet, so I think it's worth getting another unit in here. Probably the uh, Zistaphoroi. Because this army will not have any good cavalry, even after everything's been retrained. Also, we're getting the army barracks here. That's very nice indeed. I didn't even realize that one. So, that is very good. We are under siege at Pella, of course, which is not fantastic. But, uh, what can you do? The Antigonids are constantly attacking us, aren't they? <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, let's end the turn there, guys. I think I think there's nothing else we need to do. I'm hoping the Aetolians do attack us. Although, in my um, recorded episode, they did not. So, that was a slightly bit weird. But, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see where we get to. Oh, hello, Rome. Um... <laughs> uh... This is not I oh my god <laughs> This is not ideal at all. I am not happy about that. That is awful. That is not good at all. That is really, really not good. We do not want Rome to land on our shores. We cannot afford to have another uh Rome in there. What I'm gonna do here is just auto resolve. Only 42 losses. That's actually really good for that battle. I don't think I would have been able to do any better. Than that, and what we're going to do, we are going to enslave Zakynthos, um, because it won't be too happy, I don't think. So that's fantastic. Let's enslave over there. Let's also repair these buildings in here too. We need to get someone up there onto the island, but have we got a few people come of age? We definitely do. Pella is still uh, in a terrible, terrible situation. Same is very upset, of course. And Akanthos is a little bit upset. So we're going to just pop that down to low for now. We are, of course, being besieged at Pella. And another town has grown, Iginion. I think the most important one is the large city. How come Demetrius has gone down? I could have sworn that was ready to upgrade last time. How has that happened? Did it have a, a dip in population growth for a couple of turns? That is very, very strange. Um, but yeah, let's have a look at which cities can upgrade. I think it's one of these over here. Yes, this one's the one going up to a large city. So let's pop that in there. Let's also do Iginion too. Let's pop that in. And that is most of our money. We have Mr. Broccoli over here. Mr. Broccoli. Hello, Mr. Broccoli. How are you? Well, let's get him into Lucas, I think. We're going to swap over the garrisons. So we're going to go into Lucas there. We're going to pop you into there, which is only 60% still, which is not ideal. So we want the shrine to Dionysus and ideally another garrison unit, but oh well. Who else do we have? We've got Hippostratos over this way of Korkira. And I'm thinking if we press space, let's have a look at some of the richer regions that we have. Demetrius is actually one of those rich regions, and it doesn't have a general, so let's pop them in there. And then we've got Philip of Epirus, who has popped in in Ambrakia too. And yeah, I'm think we, thinking we send them up to like Argos Oresticon, because Argos Oresticon, not too bad. It's a minor city and makes a decent amount of cash. Either that or Dimale, because Dimale could become quite rich as well. Um... But I think Argos or Esticon, because these around here, they both have 
generals in. 4,500 now from Ayana, which is pretty insane. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking, Philip, let's send you up to Argos Arresticon. So we're getting a lot of generals in the settlements now, which is fantastic. We've got diplomatic information. We've got plenty of faction announcements. This man has competed at the Olympics and lost. This man... Mm, wait, this man has won the Olympics, Ptolemaios, right? Let's have a look. He's got great management, actually, Ptolemaios. Where is he in? He's in Pharsalos. Good management man. He's a suspicious man. He's a Spartan as well. He has no luxuries in his life, apart from the luxury of going impoverished noble family. Comes from a former powerful noble family who once rose to the top and exerted great influence in their society. They may not have the power or the money they once had, but their lineage is still respected. It can still help augmenting her husband's career and increases her chance of running for public. Empoverished. Hmm. Interesting. Is that a typo or is that an actual word? I've never seen that word before, but maybe I should have. Olympic... Olympianikes, Olympic victor, Pola Caera, Olympianikes. This man has brought great honor and fame to himself and his people. It is not a common occurrence to stand before the crowns at Olympia and be crowned with the wreath of olive leaves, but he has done it and won a great victory in the Olympiad. He has followed in the footsteps of Theogenes, Diagoras, and even great Mylon, and the most famous Olympic victor of all. He has uh, just now returned from his journey to Ellis, and already plans are underway to place a statue of Parian marble of him in the local Agora. Let us hope that in four more years, he will be able to try his strength again and duplicate his amazing feat. Plus one influence and minus two unrest. That's actually amazing. He's got a really good, really good stats, actually, this guy. Uh, bribery resistance plus 16 because he's a Spartan. He does not want to be bribed. Very good. Very good. I'm very happy with that. Right. This army. Let's get rid of them. We will do that in a second. But first things first, let's get this army out of uh, Olympia. And unfortunately, because we didn't stick a general outside of the city, <laughs> oh, we do not have the movement points. That's incredibly annoying. Why is our movement points so reduced again, though? Like, we both have amazing movement points there. Why is it, why is it uh, blocked twice? Surely we're going to have more movement points next time. Is it because of the season? No, that's very strange. One of these guys got really low movement points. No, he's got plus 20. Alexander's got plus 27. Hmm, very strange. I don't know why that is, but hopefully it'll uh, it'll augment itself next time. Secondly, we're going to take Big Pyros over here, and we're going to get our army together. We're going to take as many of the Phalangites as possible. Going to get in there. And then let's have a look. We want the good hoplites, even though they are a little bit damaged. What do we have in there? And then we want probably Thuriophoroi. Haven't got much experience, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. And then because we're going to be th facing Thracians, we definitely want some missile men. So we are going to take them because the Thracians love a good missile man. A missile man, the missile man, he comes along with his plan. The missile man. And then we're going to take the Prodromu. Get in there, my friends. And what else have we got? Then some, maybe some Greek hoplites. Not going to be amazing, are they? Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, now we've built that, though, we should be able to get Ambrachios here, too. Oh, fan dabby dozy. Fan dabby dozy, my friends. Very good. Right, let's have a look then. Um, 46 Greek archers or two units of hoplites. I think two units of hoplites is the option there. Let's also, though, send these guys after them. They can garrison cities, etc. You go join up with these missile men. Um, and we will go... Where are we going to go with these guys? That's the question. So down south, they have actually stopped sieging down Thermon. Fantastic. We're going to pop back in there then and just stay safe. We've got Iskiri on there. He's ready to uh, leap back across. And I think because of this mess here, it's <sighs> the best thing we can do is probably just go for Ellis and just let this mess clean itself up. <laughs> uh, 
because we can't get through here either because of the ships. Like, we're just going to be stuck in here for like five turns doing nothing. Um, so yeah, we're probably best to jump across to Ellis and just attack Ellis at this point. Here, of course, we are going to be going to try and relieve Pella. However, yeah, they've got siege equipment now. There is some things we can do to try and really try and, uh, and scumbag the battle, though. And also, I wonder if there are many mercenaries around. There are cavalry mercenaries. Hmm, if I cancel the building, we could get those cavalry mercenaries. And maybe save the day. So, where were we building? I mean, um, that one that one doesn't need to go in yet. Let's, uh, let's cancel that. Let's get the uh, two cavalry units. Let's also pop across to there. Any mercenaries available now in here? No mercenaries. And let's just pop into there. Anyone else available? I mean... Any mercenaries in any of these little areas? Mercenaries? Oh, literally none. I don't know where they're all going, but... Apparently we've not been able to get any mercenaries this whole time. <laughs> Very strange. Very strange indeed, my friends. Very strange. Oh, that, there it's, it's updated now. It's updated. There we go. That's good. Right. Well, um... Pyros, with your five command and your plus one morale, which is a lot better than a Kilos... Uh, we've still got a general in there, haven't we? Six management, that's good. Where do we want to go? Ah, there's plenty of options, isn't there? There's plenty of options. But these cities are all quite rich and relatively decent, you know. Hmm. Relatively decent. Um. Obviously, we want to go after this, but I think Alexa that's Alexander's job once he's... Probably retaken Pella, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, Pyros, I think... I would also really like to take Antipatria. Because, at the minute, we have no way. We're blocked by a load of... And also, uh, Amatia Olympi over here. Just so that we can, like, clear the way. So we do have a clear path through this way. Because, at the minute, if we do that, we've got to go all the way around. But I don't think that's a massive concern. I think first things first, we go for Stoby, honestly. And uh, we just take the uh, the army to the face when it comes along. Um, because it will come, and it will be scary. <laughs> because it's Thracians, my friends. They're a very scary bunch, these Thracians. Right, Finike, let's have a look. So because we did... Uh, we want to get the Hippodrome, don't we? The hippo, hippo hip. Um, well, we did get that. So let's queue in a more another Ambrakia. We've got Zistaforoi being trained over in Ambrakia, don't we? Let's have a look over here. Anything else we want to retrain ourselves? No. What do we have here? We've got the third level of recruitment there. How much is this building then? 6,500. Well, I'm sorry, Ambrak Ambrakiote. Phalangites. Let's go for the cavalry stables because I believe in here we can get Thessalian cavalry. Oh, we can. We can, boys. I've also noticed that up here in Stimbara, there is a Paeonian fortified city, which means if we get to level three, we can get Romphiphoroi. We can get Thracian noble cavalry, my friends. Now, this and the Thessalian Cavalry are two of the strongest cavalry regiments in the game. They are insanely good. We can also get some of these Agraeanian archers, who are a fantastic archer unit. Look at that, 160 range and 10 missile attack. It's a little bit annoying we can't get Romphiphoroi at level 2, but that would be quite OP because Romphiphoroi are very good. The Paeonian Cavalry, they're a decent cavalry unit, kind of on the par with... Zistaphoroi. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be about 60 turns before we can get any of the uh, good level 3 units anyway. But I think we can get Romphiphoroi at level 3. Yeah, there we go. Thracian Romphiphoroi. Don't be, don't be put off by these stats, guys. These guys are insanely good. <laughs> they are insane. So uh, yeah, that would be very nice if we could get that. But let's uh, let's stop waffling, shall I? Because that's been going on for quite some time. Let's also pop in the trying to Dionysus over here, and let's uh, get a going. 
I don't know why it turned into Mario, but this is Zedio. We go. Uh, let's have a look. Hoplites. It's just all Prodromoi. Aetolian Cavalry. Lots of Hoplites, to be fair. So let's put our newfound Phalangite Wisdom back into practice, my friends. Let's get going. I love a feast. We will tell each other tales of our bravery. But before that, we must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of Alexander and Achilles. Glorious, my friends. Glorious, my friends. Very good. It's a little bit... Uh, oh, what a beautiful battle map. Wow. Can we see the settlement, actually? Surely we should be able to see it just behind the hill. I swear every time we have a look for it, a settlement on these battle maps, we never see it because it's always behind a hill or something. But what a beautiful setting for a battle. What? Oh, what a lovely war. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's get these guys moved along and let's also do the old shift rooney Get them all mixed in there. And we're going to do a fat formation about that much. Gonna also group them together. We're gonna stick these guys. We're gonna have a folding flank, guys. So what we're gonna do? Gonna have a fat formation on either side. We're gonna have these guys either side, and they're gonna fold around the flanks, like we've seen many times before. I mean, I do it in most battles, so don't be uh, surprised that we're doing it this one. Get them, and then we we'll get the Zistaphoroi. And because they have so many Prodromoi, we are going to be a little bit wary. I'm assuming they're going to be up there on the hill, so actually let's... Oh my god. No! Well, I'll get them set up, guys, and we'll see you in a second. Right, so we're getting set up now, and ready to kind of go. So, we are going to try and force them into action by firing on them with our archers, of course. A few of the guys are going to be able to hide in this uh, long grass. So let's get, let's get, let's keep going forward. What do we have? It's mainly hoplites. That's the thing. If it's Thurioforoi, then it would be a little bit annoying. But I think what we're going to do is go for a bit of a charge forward quite quickly if we can. While they're maneuvering like that, that would be a great time to get forward. Let's go. Let's get you guys forward too. Same with you. And then the cavalry, which are all hidden right now, they're just going to pop onto... Let's try the right flank because there's less Prodromoi there. I don't want my cavalry getting shredded by Prodromoi for no reason. And let's get ready to stick the Phalangites down for these boys when they're in position. And here we go. Now, I have had a few good comments from you guys about the Phalangites, and I am trying to get better with them, of course. Get the Phalanxes down, boys. Why did you just take a step back, boys? There we go. They're all just charging straight in there. That's fantastic for us. So let's pop around this side if we can. I don't mind taking a bit of a battering from the Prodromoi. Really doesn't matter. Let's get the Thurio Foroi in through there. We're just going to hold the line in the middle there. I'm going to keep them on uh, guard mode for now. So here comes a Prodromoi for a charge. Guys, get them if you can. You guys get them. Right, you guys... Let's move up this way if we can. Where's my cavalry? They are this way. Right, you guys can fire at them. You guys keep coming forward. You guys keep coming forward too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my archers forward to fire at the Prodromoi because they are the main annoyance for us right here in this battle. You guys get in there. You guys get through this way too. You guys, let's keep coming this way. You guys can fire in the back of them. What we're going to do probably scare off these Prodromoi. I don't care about the Prodromoi for now. What we're going to do is just kill these guys. What are you doing? Get in there. Get in. Get into the fight, my friends. Get in the fight. Get in the fight. Come on, man. Where's the cavalry? It's quite hard to tell what's going on with the, uh, the trees. Oh, there goes a general. I forgot that they had a general, actually. <laughs> you guys get in there. We're going to mosh these uh, these slingers and archers down. 
Where are these guys? Need to fire at the Progemoy. Don't fire at anyone else. Oh, look at the amount of damage we're taking from the Progemoy. That's why they're so annoying. And we can't... Oh, here they come. That I didn't even realize. We should be able to kill them quite easily then if they're going to charge us. You guys get that way. The general's going to survive. That's going to be quite annoying. I'm not going to lie. But the Phalangite's doing very well. Holding the line while we squeeze them from the back. Here we go. Kill the Progemite. Surely we should shred these guys. Come on. We should be shredding them. There they go. Let's shred them. Shred them to pieces. Archers, are you still firing at the Progemite? You should be. Shoot at that one now. Kill these guys. Kill them. Come on. And here comes another one. Oh, dear. Is that their general or mine? No! Iskirion! <laughs> no! No! How is the Progemoy beating my goddamn Zistaphoroi, man? <laughs> That's ridiculous! Come on, man! That is so dumb! Right, get them anyway. Keep coming forward. You guys keep coming forward. We'll get you guys off guard mode because you're going on an attack order. You, uh, we've got you. Turn around and fight them. Cavalry-wise, we've still got this guy. So, let's go with that. I can't believe Iskirion has died. That's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I mean... Oh, the uh, the Cretan archers are taking... Oh, this uh, it's actually a, uh, a hoplite. That's great for us. The Cretan archers are still here. There we go. They're starting to rout now that they are facing some of the uh, other units that we have. Uh, where is my actual cavalry? Yeah. Well, it's been a very good battle based on the infantry. Not so good with the cavalry, which is normally what I'm better with. So, an interesting battle nonetheless. Where are the archers? Group 4. Fire at those progemoid, please. And now we should be just absolutely shredding these guys in the middle here. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Their general didn't die, though. That's the problem. Fight them. Should not take too much damage. It is just Progemoy. There we go. These guys. I think the rest of the Progemoy is gone. I mean... I think it is. But I think you need to go and close off this gap then. Right. You are there to chase down the enemy now. So you go after the Greek archers. I can't believe we lost Iskirion. Oh, dearie me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Poor old Ice Skirion. But anyway, let's uh, let's kill this big blob, guys, and the battle shall be over. There they go, routing. Well, there we are, guys. It was a very good victory, apart from the fact that we lost Ice Skirion. So we're going to have to find a new general for this army. And I was just starting to like Ice Skirion as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Well... I mean, it's one of the first generals we've lost, right, in this uh, in this fight. So, I can't really complain too much. You know, Alexander's still going. That's the main thing. He's been our glorious commander. But we need a new legendary commander to fulfill our aims in the south. So, let's find ourselves a juicy, juicy commander. Let's go. Well, that's pretty good. We got a man of the hour straight away. And he's blooded. So, hopefully this gets completed. Oh, it does. Oh. Well, that is some good luck, my friends. That is some... He looks decidedly Roman. I'm not going to lie. But anyway, he is blooded. So, it's only one minus one morale already. He's not green. So, yeah. But that actually equals it out to zero. He's got plus two command. Good movement points. Uh, good line of sight. Good battle surgery as well, actually. I wonder what that's from. Um, I don't know, actually. He's an Epirote as well. Bright, magnetic, and vigorous. Actually sounds like a really good commander for us, uh, in fact. So, fantastic. But Iskirion, the poor old fella there. And it looks like that army actually did fully die. So, that's all right. Do we have mercenaries on this island? No, we don't. Um... We need a someone to govern here. How about yes. them? I mean, they can't escape. That's the problem. Ah, well. Hmm. 
We need a little generales for on here. What we're going to do, we're just going to pop back into Zakynthos for one turn and hope that the unrest is gone. And then we might just leave, say, like a Greek hoplite in there. We'll probably go back for retraining, seeing as we're pretty damaged right now. Um, those Roman armies do scare me quite a bit. But I don't think there's anything else we can do, is there, guys? So let's end the turn there and let's see where we get oh actually let's think about our diplomat that's that's what i want to do i don't tend to want to think about my diplomat too much and also our agents we haven't actually looked at where they are for a while this guy's over here that's good he's providing vision over all of this let's keep him there We've got this diplomat over here oh yeah this diplomat's coming all the way around i swear did i not oh i did have another diplomat but they got bribed didn't they well, that's a little bit annoying. Um, we've got Bacchus over here. Where's Bacchus? Oh, Bacchus all the way over there. Well, we don't need him there anymore. He can go up over here. Have a look. What is this? Does this score Disky Land? I really don't want to get into a drawn-out war with the score Disky. I'm not going to lie. Facing Thracians and Celts at the same time? Not ideal, my friends. <laughs> Coerilos over here. Yeah, he can stay there for now. He's providing vision over all of this. We've got our two spies there. We've got Perdikas over here. He's providing vision over all of these goddamn armies. And then we got you, who's in actually in Pella, with two other spies in Pella as well. Oh, well. Well, let's, uh, let's end the turn then, guys, and let's see where we get to. Okay, so... It looks like the Antigonids are attacking Pella. Now, there's one thing that we can do here. One thing that can maybe save the day for us. So, I'm going to try it. It is premium cheese, friends. It is premium cheese. But I will show you how you can do this. Without, though... Without many infantry, though, it's going to be very, very difficult. Even with this extra cavalry, this cavalry is not going to be that helpful. So, let's see. Let's see how we get on, and let's see whether we can do it. But anyway, premium cheese. Let's have a go. So, here's what we're going to do, guys. Here's what we're going to do. Now, bring this cavalry as close to us as possible, as quick as possible. But what we're actually going to do is we are going to go and just absolutely lampoon one of these this siege equipment. In, if not two of them, ideally I want to stop the ram when it gets close to, uh, to the wall so it can get shot. So are the walls firing at the ram yet? Probably not. So we're going to go for the ladder. Then we're going to go for the siege equipment. So touch the ladder. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'll chaos. I'll chaos the chaos master. Let's go, and then let's try and slip through this gap here to go after the siege. We're going to take a bit of a battering with the Javis. Don't mind that. It doesn't really matter if our Chaos dies. Going to stop the ram there. Going to hit them. Now we're going to come off. So let's get off, and let's go just around past the walls somewhat, and we'll just wait for our next moment to strike. And he's routing. Wow. That's embarrassing, our Chaos. You are an embarrassment to us all, my friend. But, uh... They're going to pick the ram back up, and hopefully the secondary lot of cavalry. Where are they? They're not far away now, actually. They're not far away. Hopefully, we can stop the ram when it's just in front of the walls. See, they've stopped using the siege tower now. They're only using one set of ladders. Well, we're going to just keep cycling this through, my friends. We're going to keep cycling through, and we're going to keep cycling through different lots of the cavalry, too. So, the Tarantines... These guys, the 304 Cavalry, shall I say, these are the Tarantines, are going to go first. We're also going to turn fire at will on. We're going to go straight after this 304 unit. What is that? That's a Prodromoi. Yeah, I don't mind. We're going to keep the rest of the cavalry here just to see what they do. And basically what we're going to do is just stop them using their siege equipment. The AI is dumb enough to, uh, to just pop one siege equipment up to the walls at a time and what you can do if you can't stop it all what you can do is um 
So we're going to go after them there. And we're going to just turn on the, the Progemoy. Attack the Progemoy. What I might do is just charge the Progemoy too. So that they can't attack us later down the line. With everyone. And uh, what you basically do is just stop the uh, siege equipment being used. If you can't stop it being used fully. What you can do then is... Um, basically try to make them only have one set of siege equipment and what are they they use zonoi yeah i don't mind that you guys now go after them oh no 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 progemoy are coming i just want to kill this progemoy because it's going to be very annoying to us our chaos is here let's go let's get out then should hopefully kill this progemoy quite easily the tarantines are taking a battering there let's now go straight into the back of these guys and uh, if you can't do this because you've not got enough cavalry or your cavalry routes or whatever, guys, what you basically want to do is to stop them um, using much of their siege equipment and just let them use one set of their siege equipment, and that's it. That's all you want them to be able to do is just one set so that they come up the walls here just with one set. You want to protect the gateway at all costs, hopefully flank that unit from both sides, and uh, just leave them like that. Just leave them like that, and hopefully, because it takes so long to fight on the walls, the timer runs out. So you do need to have the timer to do this cheese. So, uh, But it's up to you whether you want to do it, of course, or not. We're going to come a little bit closer. Our guys are a little bit tired now, too. So now the ram's coming again. I'm going to get these guys out, and they're going to attack the ram when the ram is in range of the towers. So the ram gets burnt, and hopefully... It'll be close. There we go. Now it's in range. You guys go and attack the ram, please. Go, go, go. We need you to speed up, my friends. So that the ram stops. And then there's nothing for them to do. Um, and the ram will get burnt down. So that is the cheese, by the way, guys. That's how the cheese works. We have some hoplites there. I feel like we should just go for them. Let's have a go. If you think you're hard enough, my friends, let's have a go. Come on, the boys. Absolutely crush them. That's what we like to see. These guys now out. Out them spots. Out. So it stopped the ram right in front of the walls. Which is good. So the, the, the walls should be firing still at the ram. Oh, and they're just going straight away again. Well, let's go. Straight into the ram, please. Guys, go. Don't stop cheering your victory. Guys, please. <laughs> Quick, before the goddamn ram gets to the walls. We need the ram to burn down. That's the thing. We need it to burn down. So we need to stop it here. If it doesn't burn down, we are screwed. Because we cannot protect the gate. So quickly before it's in position. There we go. And now it's still in a position to be fired at. Which is great. We're going to hold it there for a second. And now we're just going to pop out over here. What is that? That's just a hoplite. So they're not going to fire jabbies at us. That's fine. Keep firing at the ram, guys, please. Stop firing at the soldiers. Fire at the ram. Fire at the ram. I wish you could designate where the tower's fired. Uh, looks like we're getting attacked by someone. I think it was the 304 Roy then. Oh, no, they've left the ram. Good, 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 good. Right, we leave then. We go. We go away. <laughs> we're happy to go. Go! Just don't, don't stop, my friends. Never a good idea. Now they've got the siege tower back. And genuinely, I don't mind the siege tower. We've wasted a lot of time already uh, doing this. So if they just want to get the siege tower up to the walls, there's a chance the siege tower will burn down as well. But we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go after the siege tower now. So I'm going to rinse and repeat this, guys. I don't need to show you any more of it. But it is very cheesy, very gamey. But uh, that's what we like to see, isn't it? If, you're gonna, <laughs> if you want to save Pella... You gotta have a little bit of cheese for the boys, haven't you? There you can see firing the fire arrows at it, so it's in a good range now for us. So let's get up there. Go, go, go. Go, man, go. Stop them moving the siege tower. There they go. As you can see, as soon as you touch them, they just uh, leave the uh, the siege equipment and let it get fired at, which is good for us. And we're just gonna pop through that way now. Boopity boop, boop, boop. Right, I will leave you. Uh, I will leave you for a bit, guys. I will leave you for a bit. So now we've wasted 20 or 15 minutes of the battle just trying to stop them getting 
to the walls with some of their siege equipment. The ram is just sat there, which is good for us. Also blocks them if they do ever get in through the gate. It blocks them coming in. So what we're going to do is basically now all we need to do is just grind out on the uh, on the walls. I'm going to keep Alkaos near them. So we're going to send Alkaos back through the gates so that he can inspire them. Because once they get fighting to the death on the walls, it is very, very bad. They, uh, they, you know, they just die, basically. They don't really fight to the death. They just die. Um, so, and also, the good thing with the siege tower is it takes ages for units to get up through the siege tower. So, basically, now it's all just down to the infantry. It's not guaranteed that we will run the timer out here. 30 minutes is a long time for four units of Thurio Foroi to do this. So, it's going to take a little while. Let's also put them on guard mode so they try and stay there and hold them back at the gate uh, where they're jumping over. But you can see their hoplites are... They say unhappy overtaking casualties, but they're not really taking any casualties. So now, basically, we just need to hold them on the walls for as long as possible. Because they're going to think that they have a siege equipment to get into the city now. But they're only going to use this one. <laughs> so, <laughs> premium cheese on the AI. This poor 304, you can see, is getting shredded. Alkaos, where are you, my friend? Let's get in. Let's get all the way down there. There you go. I'm also bringing these guys round. So you guys get in the fight too. And basically we just need to stop them using the gate. That'd be excellent. So I want to get up there. No, 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 no. This way, this way, this way, guys. So basically at this point we're just going to try to stop them using the gate. Uh, and taking the gate. Because once that does, the battle's over. Because they've got overwhelming numbers. So we're just trying to hold them in this position. And hopefully get a few of their units to rout so that they just stick there and, and block other units coming in. The Romfe Foroi, though, if they send them in next, that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. So I think we want to probably give them a charge as soon as they start to try and get near the gates. You guys can stay here now for now. In fact, I want you guys to stay by the gateway there to get up. Your, you guys are coming up here. There we go. And those guys, they've just charged the run for Foroi. So let's just get out straight away. There we go. That's given them actually quite a bit of damage there. Very nice indeed. Where's this unit? This unit can come out this way and come out of the city. Hopefully, I just don't want the run for Foroi to get up because they're so goddamn strong. Like, ridiculously strong. So I just want them to stand in front of the gates and get shot by the towers, really, is the main thing. So there we go. These guys are coming up. Once they're up, we're going to send them around this side too to keep this tower open and also to push in from this side. We want to be flanking these guys at all times um, as well here. So there they go, firing their missiles. Let's go for another charge. See whether we can break these guys. I really do want to break them before they get on the walls because once they're on the walls, they are going to shred our men. This unit is one of the most powerful units for its price in the goddamn game. So they're no longer impetuous, which is good. But uh, I think we need to charge from this side if we're going to charge them at all. Rather than doing whatever that was. Uh, where are you guys now? You guys come through. There we go. As long as they're not firing jabbies into my cavalry, that's all that matters. But you can see them getting fired at by the towers. So they did fire at the cavalry. They shouldn't be able to reach from that range, though. Where are they going? Please don't go on to the siege tower yet. It's not what we need or want. So let's keep on going. How are the Macedonian hoplites doing? Right, you guys are in. So let's get you over that way. You should be able to run through there. Let's go for another cheeky charge. In on the boys. Let's go. And then we're going to use these guys to just harry them with a few missiles. Here they go. They're going into the siege tower now. But we want to take out as many as possible before they even touch the siege tower. There we go. Shaken, not stirred. There we go. Steady though now. That's good. Down to 33. Get out. Get out, men. Get out. Now we want you to charge them too. We're just going to cycle through these charges. I know we've got so little cavalry, but this is this is the cheese we have to achieve, my friends, if we want to win this battle. Let's go. Let's go again. Charge again. We need a good charge from the general here, really. That's the main thing. Hold them in place then, men. And our general should be ex is probably exhausted now. 
They've gone back to being impetuous, which doesn't help. But getting them down to 27 men, honestly, is invaluable. If they'd have gone up with 80 men, guys, they would have absolutely just cut through our men like butter. Um, so, yeah, we need to keep on going with the charges here. Looks like we're going to take a bit of a charge in the back. Oh, a lot of them missed. That's good for us. Right, if they're going to charge at us, we're going to charge back at them. No, nope, looks like. But our guys, the Tarantines are somehow just warmed up. How are you just warmed up, man? Whereas the general's knackered. There we go. Down to 22. Like, I know this is so... Oh, my God. Broken. Yes. Make sure we kill all of them. So, they're going to send some phalangites up as well. But phalangites on the walls. Terrible, terrible units. So, we don't really need to charge them. And I don't want to charge them. So, now, for the rest of the battle, it's very likely we're just going to be playing on times 6 speed. Uh, or whatever it is. Times 3 speed, is it? Triple speed, yeah. Triple speed and just seeing how we do on the walls and hopefully stopping them from getting up. I know it's premium cheese, guys, but I wanted to show you this technique if you ever want to use it. Uh, I mean, it's very lengthy <laughs> and very micro-intensive and you've got to have a bit of luck as well on your side, you know. Sometimes the ram will get burnt, sometimes it won't. Sometimes they'll leave the ram, sometimes they get to the walls with the ram. Sometimes they get to the walls with the ladders. So you've really got to uh, be on the lookout and really, you know, will be willing to sacrifice your cavalry completely. Um, which, yeah, of course, not many people want to do. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll triple speed it and I'll let you know how it goes later down the line. So now all of our infantry has died apart from this single 11304. They basically went to fighting to the death. They all lost their morale. And by doing that, uh, they basically all just died. So we've got four minutes now, four minutes to survive before they automatically lose. So what we're going to do is just try and maneuver around the town square. I'm hoping it's going to take them a couple of minutes at least to get to the town square. And then we're just going to jank it around the town square, try and avoid them. Um, you know, we're going to have guys on each corner of the town square. Hopefully try and stop them maybe with one of these units like the uh, Thurio Foroi Cavalry just to stop them getting to the town square so quickly. Hopefully hold them in front of a tower or, or something. Um, and yeah, they've got three minutes to go. So let's see whether we can do this. One minute to go, my friends. One minute to go. And they're not even charging yet. 40 seconds. <laughs> Come on. This is tight. This is really close. 20 seconds. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. They're going to charge. We've still... Yes! <laughs> oh, don't you love it when you absolutely cheese the hell out of the AI? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't recommend cheesing them all the time, guys. I don't like to do that all the time. But, you know, to save Pella, we were willing to go the extra mile, weren't we, <laughs> my friends? <laughs> glorious, glorious victory. Well... Gloriously cheesy victory anyway, but I will see you back on the campaign map. And there we go. They have ran away. They're trying to put another spy in Pella, but that spy... Oh, we could do we could do that as well. Oh, well, they're attacking us here. So, let's retreat. <laughs> and they're blockading down a port. Thank you, Antigonids. Well, a glorious, glorious defense there, wasn't it, my friends? We've got another candidate for adoption. He's a 0, zero, zero. He's friendly and grounded, which is good, but he is uninteresting, uncharismatic. So I think we're going to ignore him for now. And uh, Pausinius has died in Pella. Is that our spy? Because I would like to get a spy. Oh, Pella's, Pella's plague has ended. Has ended now. Oh, fantastic. Well, let's not get a spy then. What we want to do instead dead. Yeah, all of those units did die. We're going to pop into Pella with these guys just for now. Retrain them. And what else do we have here? Let's start getting some more Thurio Foroi again. And we do have a couple of cities that still need to upgrade, don't we? Oh, Larissa got the cavalry stables, actually. Fantastic. Let's go 12,000 for that. Let's cancel the Thurio Foroi then and then make sure that we can build that upgrade over here. And that is all our money for now. 
The Pionians are chilling. They probably are going to siege down something over here. So what I'm going to do, that's a decent army too, but I've got three generals in that army. Oof. I genuinely don't think we can beat that. However, in a defensive battle, it's going to be a lot easier to beat the beat the um, Thracians than it is in an offensive one. In an offensive one, just so you know, guys, in the previous... Well, when I recorded this initially, we fought this army with this one. And basically, as soon as the 304 and the Hoplites got anywhere near the enemy, they just ran because... All of these guys have frightened nearby enemy infantry, and so do the noble cavalry, I think, as well. No, they don't, but the Ronfe Foroi do, and basically, that just stacked up and just made them all die. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they, they, they were not very happy about it, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to keep coming through with Captain Alkaas, and... Glorious, glorious, glorious. Now we need someone to take on the mantle of this. I mean, we could just leave behind a 55 unit of... Well, they've got good experience. I don't really want to leave them behind. We've got a 53, though, that doesn't have quite as good experience. That's going to give them 10% law uh, happiness. So... I think we'll be okay there. Now we need to come back for retraining. Let's jump in there. We've got another Zista Foroi there now. And uh, we'll leave Locaris. There we go. And Locaris, stay outside. And then we're going to retrain next turn when we have some money. <laughs> Rome has landed. Oh, dear. <laughs> Ooh, that's not what we want to see, guys, is it? Not at all. I want to attack these armies, but I feel like they're going to take the fight and just withdraw, which will be very annoying when that happens. We do have an Athamanian here that we want to use, but it's kind of dead now. You need to go into Thessalonica, but we do need to clear those up, so maybe we shall do that as our last resort of, the, uh, of this episode. Uh, also, guys... Um, and basically, with all the editing of the videos, it's very hard to tell how long each video is going to be. So what I'm going to do from now on is basically just record to like an hour and a quarter, an hour and 20 minutes. And then, you know, if you get a 45 minute video, then that's, you know, been a lot has been edited out, mainly in battles, that sort of thing. Uh, but we're just going to try and record the same amount of time for each one, because obviously... Without doing that, it uh, it becomes a little bit of a nightmare. So there's that unit there. Also this unit. Oh, come on. That was dumb. I thought we would have at least enough to push them back so that they couldn't move next turn. Maybe they'll join together and attack, or maybe the Pionians will come and attack. That would be excellent. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking the Pionians will attack this army here in Stoby. Uh, if they both attack us, we are 100% dead. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we are deaded, 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 my friends. And apparently the plague is back. I swear it was gone. Do you have the plague? No, you don't. You do not have the plague. This guy is bloody as well. He'd actually be a decent commander, Al Chaos. But uh, yeah, we've got commanders right now, haven't we? So let's end the turn there, guys, and let's see where we get to. Now, Chersonesos has been destroyed. We did try and get an alliance with the Romans that turn. I also scammed some money off the boy for some map information. This Roman army, I have no idea what it's doing because this this uh, settlement here, Antigonea Chionia, definitely does not uh, border them. Also, that needs upgrading now, too. So I wonder whether they're trying to get over here, maybe? But why wouldn't they just land there? That's the strange thing. Another candidate for adoption, a 24-year-old. Uh, intelligent and charismatic will take him then. Uh, where is he? Anchises, he's over here. Anchises, where do we want you to go? I think Oinadai would be a good place because it's definitely going to be quite a rich settlement going forward. Uh, Pellet still has the plague. God damn, I thought the plague had ended here. Um... But yeah. Wait, why is it at Oinodai? 
There we go. Pella. I thought the plague had ended here, but oh well. <laughs> I guess it's not going to. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. We'll do our uh, recruitment in a little while. We've got these guys. We've got constructions. Farsalos now went up to level 3 as well. So definitely we want to get the Hippodrome there because the Hippodrome should allow us to get Thessalian Cavalry. Yeah, third tier stable, so Hippodrome in there. I know it costs a lot of money, but same thing with Larissa. We're getting two there, so we're going to have that there very, very soon. So let's uh, let's do this for Stoby. Shouldn't be many deaths. Good. Let's also enslave again. So we spread that population around. And let's leave. We'll probably leave behind a Greek archer. Oh, do they have no one in there? Where's the spy? Wait, they genuinely have no one in Damastion. Why? <laughs> well, what we'll do then is what I'm going to do is leave behind you. We're going to pop out here. Can you get there? You can. You've got enough movement points. There we go. We're also going to enslave here. I'm going to put that down to low. Still very unhappy, unfortunately. What shrine do they have here? Aphrodite, which is population growth. Well, let's go straight in there for... This is an Illyrian settlement, actually. Hmm, interesting. Let's go for the shrine to Dionysus straight away. Hopefully, part of this is unrest. Yeah, 30% unrest. So that's two settlements taken off Pionia straight away because they are dumb. Secondly, we're going to go straight on to Bylazora, which is their capital. So they should want to come back and defend it. 50% uh, in here too is, is not ideal. But this is also a Pionian fortified city. So this is another place where we would like to build a recruitment hub. Let's go for the Shrine to Dionysus. Keep them happy. Um, so once we are ready, what we're going to do is make Stimbara and Stoby our Thracian recruitment hubs here in the north too. Um, they're going to be very unhappy for a couple of turns, but once that is done, we do have these guys. Hmm, can e any of you move a little bit further? No, not quite. Well, we're going to get there and try and get into Stoby, and we will distribute those troops around. This place luckily didn't get any uh, anything destroyed. This place is fine. It's got Dioscuri, Aphrodite, and Deimos and Phobos, which is actually a great temple. Can we actually upgrade that? No, we cannot. Oh, well. We've got 2,000 gold still remaining. So, unfortunately for Iphestionas down here, um, let's uh, also try and move some of our experience around. So, this 92, if we press control and drag it in there, it's going to move them around. Um, we're going to go with this one into here. It's not actually gained any experience for us yet, but let's try and go into that one. That one's made it a little bit worse, so let's try and move it back across. And unfortunately, we lost a little bit of experience doing that. But oh well, not too bad. You guys can go into there. That's eight. That has gained some experience. And you guys into there. That's not going to gain any experience, is it? And we can't do anything with the Zistaphore. Apart from maybe if I do that, that should gain both of them an experience. It's taken away a silver, which isn't ideal. But if I keep doing this... Yeah, that's kind of just put the experience down. But we, now we've got a 61 with two experience. And now we've got a 6 with 3 and a 61 with 2. So probably ended up better in the end from what we were going for before. But yeah, let's. Uh, I think we've got one final battle we can do. They have ran away. So let's go straight for them here. It's pretty much they've got nothing left. They do have some Thracian Noble Cavalry and Thessalian Cavalry, so we're going to have to be wary of that. But it's pretty much a dead army. Now, they can't withdraw from this, so that's the one good thing. So let's finalize this episode with one final battle against the Antigonids. So here we go, guys. We are closing them down. As you can see, they have very little... So what we're going to do, we're just going to keep marching forward with the Phalangites. Going to keep the Aphamanians in here too. They're going to run forward potentially now. Get going, my friends, so that we can start firing on the Thracian Peltas, which are a very good Peltast unit, as we have seen before. 
Hopefully that the Phalangites can get past them slightly before these cavalry start charging. We've also now got enough to the fact that we can split our cavalry in two. So we've got cavalry run by Alexander on one side and Pyrrhos on the other, our faction heir. So very strong cavalry units as well. But we're going to keep marching forward with the Phalangites. We'll also halt them at some point. But here they come. Marching forward still, marching forward. Athamanians, let's get you slightly further forward again. Probably all the way up to there. And the Phalangites can keep marching forward. Uh, we're just going to hold the line now, probably. Just hold the line and see what they do with their cavalry and everything else. So they've got their noble cavalry, all that sort of thing, around that right flank. The rest of them, less so. Let's keep moving forward if we can. Go and engage them. 304, let's get you over there. You guys, what I want to do is just turn one of you that way. And the, the other two, let's go this. Cavalry-wise, what are you? You're a Zistaforoi. Let's get rid of that Zistaforoi then. There they go. They are going to charge. So we're going to get our Thurioforoi here too. And if this Zistaforoi is going to keep running away, that's fine. You guys deal with the Thurioforoi. Now I want you guys to turn around and face them. There we go. They've charged their Thracian cavalry in too. So you guys get out. Uh, all of us, let's get just here for now. And we'll turn around and charge them. Is the general... That's our actual general as well. We did want to kill him, of course. Uh, you guys fight them. You guys get you off guard mode now and now do the attack order. Same with you guys. Apparently this is really strong. So let's do that. Apparently this is... Yeah, it looks like it's quite strong as well. There goes the, the Thessalians. Let's deal with the noble Thracians. There we go. We should fully surround them and just kill them all. How many have we killed so far? Only 40%. So we've got to kill all this infantry, basically, to destroy the army. Uh, well, we won't destroy it because the general, of course, will survive. So now we just need to get all our cavalry. Let's group you all back together now. So much for, uh, so much for uh, <laughs> splitting everyone up. But there they go, fighting to the death now, killing the Chalcospedes. You guys don't really need you to do anything. So you guys just come here. Cavalry-wise, there goes the Thessalian cavalry. What I want to do is probably get the generals to attack the Thessalians, and then the Zistaforoi can come through this way and deal with the Peltasts and the Getic archers. They've got some of the Celtic archers. These guys are really cool. No, no, sorry. Getai Archers. No, that's the wrong one. I was looking for the wrong one there. Right. One of you after them. One of you after them. Two of you after them. There we go. Killed the uh, those boys. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. The Phalangite Squish. I've never seen that before. That was amazing. We just caught the last moments of that. I wish we'd have seen a bit more of that. That was unreal. <laughs> the Phalangite Squish, boys. Yes. Come on. And we got this guy here. Aha! Fire. Fire. Don't, no, don't wait. Fire. How many have we killed now, then? Yep. Fantastic. Glorious victory, my friends. Glorious against Antigonos. Antigonos did survive, so they will survive. But uh, a glorious victory, nonetheless, my friends. Let's get back on that campaign map. Well, there they go. I think they ran back to Berger. Yes, they did. Not many units in Berger, is there? Now, we could go for Captain Uenus here. But I think we just go straight for Berger again, because it does block them from coming across this river. They also have Heraclea Sintike, so I'm wondering whether we can split. Have we got a spy around here? We do. Let's go have a look over this way. What do we have? I am Forion over there. We've got this unit with two Chalcospedes. Got Berger. I think for now, we're just going to take the whole army to Berger. And we'll do that battle probably on the battle map itself. Um, we are missing a unit in here, and that was going to be those Athamanians. So you guys... Wait. Oh, God damn Athens. Really? And we're at war with Athens again. I didn't realize that. 
I would have attacked them if uh, if I'd known that. Jesus Christ, man. Well, let's, because uh, we've got the plague, let's get a spy in here. And what I want to do is try and plague one of these armies by putting the spy in there. It's a very cheeky little tactic. Uh, and let's use the rest of our money to retrain who we can, which isn't many. We're definitely going to have to retrain next time. We can't just keep ignoring it um, for the time being, especially if Akilos, sorry, not Akilos, Pyros loses a few men. Would be nice to get some Thracians, but I would prefer the Romphi Foroi, mercenary Romphi Foroi, rather than anything else. But I think we're going to end it there, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you do enjoy this series, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. And a glorious episode it has been. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you all again on the next video.